So I'm Ollie Harrison, I farm near Merseyside near Liverpool. We have a few Richard Weston trailers and we farm mainly combinable crops but we do do a little bit of recycling and a bit of wood chip. We have a silage trailer that we use for wood chip. We've got a couple of grain trailers that are, that are exactly the same but one's got an easy sheet and then we also have a Richard Weston 20 tonne dump trailer as well so that we don't abuse our grain trailers when we're moving rubble and soil because there's always something that needs moving from A to B. We've had Richard Weston trailers now for about, probably this would be our fourth year with them. We like them because the painted right is the main thing. The other thing that's good about them is the, the built right. There's not too much steel in them to make them heavy, but then there's enough in them to make them strong. I'd, I'd always looked at Richard Westons and always thought that they looked to be the best. So when we were looking to renew the trailers, we, that was the natural choice. I just felt that they were the, they were the, the lightest and the strongest out there with the, with the highest load capacities as well for the size. John Bounds is our local dealer, so we've, we've had sort of six trailers off him in the last sort of two or three years, and we've also had a muck spreader off him as well, that's Richard Weston. The backup out there is pretty good, and, and when we had a problem, we had an oil leak once, just rang them up, they told us what it'd be, and it was sorted straight away. The other good thing as well about them is the, the tip really steep, they've got a really good steep tipping angle, so anything comes out, especially the dump trailers, if you've got wet soil or muck in it, it just, it just flies straight out. The single ram on them is pretty good as well, because it means it's quicker to go up, quicker to come down more stable and uses less oil so some of the older tractors don't struggle for the oil to tip them right to the top. They just paint them right, the paint, the colour doesn't fade, they just they just look new for years and that's that's a big selling point I'd say. You know, I like the way that they stay fresh in that colour. There's lots of supposedly 20 tonne dump trailers on the market but being a farmer most of the time you're moving soil and that will fit 20 tonne of soil without being over the sides and if you wanted to move rubble or concrete or stone you can fit it in quite easily without it even wanting to fall out the sides. They've got a real big box on them for the size of them. They're hellishly strong. The, the sides don't look strong, but they're thick. So you, know, you can chuck anything in them and they don't dinge and dent and, and get, get knocked around. The top's got that angle on so that stuff falls either in or out and doesn't end up falling off on the road. The, the, like I say, the tipping angle on them is, is fantastic, especially if you've got sort of soil in it. You don't want it sticking in the corners, otherwise you end up, by the end of the day, you're using, moving a ton of so less. One of the first jobs we did with the three grain trailers, we entered some, some um, silt out of a reservoir that we could spread on a field because it had a really good organic matter in it. And it was like, it was like a slurry. And with having the seals on the back doors, nothing leaked at all, despite carting it 10 miles. I think the main thing is, is when you see a second hand Richard Weston trailer, you, you have to ring up to find out its age because you can't tell off the paint because they're painted that well. But the other good thing as well with the, with the trailers is they don't lose any money. You know, the, there's no depreciation really on a well-built trailer and that's, that's why we use them and if we look after them and we use the dump trailer for the heavier work I'd like to think these will last us a very long time. <laughs>